everyone, and welcome to week two of course management. This week we'll be spending a lot of time talking about the structures and organization of OLEs. We'll also be checking out a few examples of different types of OLEs. The main takeaways that I want you to keep in mind throughout this week are 1. Organization can make or break an online course. You can have the best content in the world, but if your students don't know how or where to access it, it is useless to them. 2. The upfront work of organizing and intentionally planning your space may seem like it takes way too much time. But without it, you and your learners will probably end up spending far too much time later on trying to clear up confusion. 3. As always, everything you learn here needs to be customized to your lesson, classroom, and learner's needs. Keep up that learner-centered perspective. <laughs> 